Y'all good? Talk to me now, y'all good? Let's have some fun tonight, all right? 15 minutes on the clock. So that focus and that pace. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Alfredo's. <laughs> What is going on everybody? Welcome to the Peloton room, which is just an empty room in our house. But as you can see, all we have is the Peloton. This video is a long overdue. So what we wanted to do was give you our opinion on the Peloton. This is myself, as well as my beautiful fiance, Megan. I'm gonna be the spokesperson here. She doesn't wanna be on camera today, but we share very similar opinions. So today, we're gonna go over the good, the bad, the results you can expect. Is it actually worth the money and our overall recommendation. Now, I really don't wanna get into the bike too much as far as specs and all that, but as you can see, it's essentially just an exercise bike with a big monitor on there, which that in itself, I don't think it's you know necessarily the greatest bike on earth, but the technology built in this is what I think separates this from a lot of different competitors out there. Now this is not the latest version of the Peloton. The newest one is called the Plus, I believe, and the difference there is the screen will actually flip around. So if you wanna do any of the weight training classes or any of the stretches, it's just a little bit more convenient so you don't have actually have to sit on the bike. Don't think it would be useful to me. And truth be told, I never would have even tried the Peloton if it wasn't presented to me for free. And that's because I really thought it was a bunch of hype. Typically anything I see a lot on social media or I see a lot of internet marketing, I'm not interested. I love working out, it's a big part of my life. And usually when I see something new and innovative, I have absolutely no interest. But the apartment that we were living in had a Peloton in the gym that we were able to use. So one day I said, you know what, let me get Give this thing a try and from my very first ride I was hooked so I was immediately bought in on the Peloton which gets into some of the pros number one being it's just fun I actually look forward to doing cardio and I can't believe I'm saying that the classes are very high energy they're challenging but it's not something that's so unattainable that it makes you feel defeated and it just makes you feel good, especially if you're choosing rides like for me, hip hop rides and things like music that I like or people that I enjoy hearing from. My favorite instructor's name is Alex Toussaint. I think he is amazing. Megan's favorite instructor is Kendall. But really there's a lot of great instructors on there that make the classes very enjoyable. The other thing I really like about Peloton is the community and I didn't actually expect to be so engaged. It gets very addicting when you see thousands of other people riding to the same rides that you are and my competitive nature really comes out. So you do have the opportunity to participate in live rides. So face off against people in real time. Now for me, I don't often get to do this because I typically ride at 4 a.m., which is not a very popular time to host classes. But the few times I have gotten to do it, it's been a better workout every single time because you're going head to head. You see someone on the leaderboard that's just a little bit ahead of you, so that gives you the extra push, and you're also able to encourage them. You're able to high five others, and it's really a cool experience. And then you'll find other people that do Peloton. I've definitely found a lot of others through this YouTube channel. Uh, my good friend Brandon Campbell ended up getting a Peloton, and he is kicking my butt with his number of rides. He cheats though because he just does you know little five minute warm ups. But Anyway, um, it's just fun to watch others progress and it's really cool to see everyone encouraging each other. One of the biggest advantages I believe Peloton has over its lower cost competitors such as the Echelon or I know like Nordatrack has their own version and really a lot of companies are coming out with something just like this is the amount that they've invested in their infrastructure and their instructors. Because I think their classes are just second to none. And I have done a ton of research on this before I actually purchased the Peloton. I took sample rides on other platforms because I was really skeptical that it was worth the kind of premium that it costs. But when you look into not only the design of the class, the kind of workout that you're getting, but just the overall experience, I mean, it's really more 
of a production company than anything. And as I mentioned, I don't think that this is like the best bike in the world. I really think that you could get any kind of bike, use the Peloton app to take those classes, but then you lose out on that community aspect that I just mentioned earlier. We're going head to head against people and what's great about this, is the bike reads everything. So you can turn up the tension, you can turn up the speed, and when you have everything in one package, it's a really relatable to like Apple. When they get you on their platform and they get you in that family of Apple products to airdrop something from your phone to your Mac, it's just too convenient not to use it all as one package. So Peloton has done an amazing job really putting all of that together. The last pro that I'll mention, maybe the most important, the rides themselves are suited for any type of experience level. Whether you're a complete novice like myself, or maybe you've been riding for years and years and you need something more advanced. And even within the same ride, you know, you don't have to be number one on the leaderboard, but you can start with the basic classes, move to intermediate, go into advanced, and there's just thousands to choose from. So you're never gonna have a shortage of classes or instructors. And when you think about trying to progress, you know, the progression is already built in there in a way, because if you stay consistent with this, then you'll get better as time goes along. And what I like about it is the classes, you know, they teach you proper form. Uh, they'll give you cues to think about all of these things that I had no idea exactly how much went into cycling. And I've learned a lot along the way. And I think regardless of who you are, you'll have something within the Peloton system that can really help you progress within your fitness journey. All right, we've talked about all of these amazing things. Now let's get into the bad. And I was really struggling with this because I don't find too many things that are bad about this. I mean, the quality of the bike is good. The interface is easy to use. So all I could really come up with is the price. And we're actually gonna talk a little bit more about that later in the video. It is expensive, but I will say you can find good deals. So I mentioned that I wouldn't have done it initially unless I got to try it for free. I don't know if there's places you can actually go and try these things out, but I would highly encourage you to do so if you can find that. I got very, very lucky and I was just all over Facebook Marketplace because I didn't want to buy a new one just between like the shipping and the tax. I mean, you're spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I was able to find almost a brand new Peloton five miles down the road, someone that was moving to another country, and I did buy this for $1,200, which I felt was a steal, considering if you wanna buy it online, you're gonna be looking at around $2,000, then you gotta pay shipping, and then you gotta pay tax, and then you gotta wait, and I know at the time that I bought this, there was a long wait, so the price is a little bit much, and the thing that I don't like even more than the upfront cost is the ongoing cost. So it does cost $40 a month for the subscription to take the classes, which adds up. But when you're like our household and you have two active adults that uses this, and honestly, I don't even use it that much. I only use it once or twice per week. It still, it pays for itself if you have someone like Megan who uses it three to five times per week. So when you split it over two people, it starts to make a lot more sense. Now let's talk about the results you can expect from this because it's not a piece of magical equipment that you just put in your house and you automatically lose 50 pounds but it can definitely help you along the way regardless of what your goals are. So for me, I'm more of a weightlifter, powerlifter, bodybuilder, whatever you wanna use. I'm not a big cardio junkie. So I use this as a tool in my training for a few reasons. One, it definitely helps with leg strength. You go on those high resistance rides and you're doing hills, it will be a leg workout. And I almost found myself kind of hindering my leg strength. So I had to be very strategic on when I did this. If I did this the day before a hard leg day, I could tell my strength took a hit. Uh, but ultimately, it's a great piece of equipment for that in my opinion, as well as just to eat a few more calories because when you use this thing, it will make it almost impossible not to have a good workout. I typically ride for 30 to 45 minutes and burn anywhere from 300 to 500 calories. Now maybe you're in a different situation and you're a bit of a cardio junkie, you like to do cardio five times a week, you like a good sweat and maybe you're looking to lose a few pounds. Well. This will definitely help you do it. As I mentioned, I mean, it makes this workout fun. Typically, I dread cardio and I can't really push myself, but this is like having a personal trainer right next to you 
all the time. So I think that is one of the reasons that so many people gravitate to the Peloton. So whether you are looking to lose fat, lose weight, as long as you know, you're keeping your diet in check, staying around maintenance, it will help you burn calories so that you can lose weight. Or maybe you are more like me and you're just looking to keep up with your cardiovascular health and burn a few extra calories when you can. So regardless of what your goals actually are, I think you can find a way to introduce this into your training. Now, the big question, is it worth the price? This one is going to be very individual. So as I mentioned, I did get it for a great discount finding it secondhand, which is what I recommend everyone do. For $2,000, I think about it and I'm like, you know what, that is a lot of money, but what better way to use your money than to better your health, especially your cardiovascular health, stay in shape, feel better about yourself. So even, I've tried to put myself, if I paid full price, would I still be content with it? Absolutely. I think, you know, if, if you have the means and you can make it work without hindering other areas of your life, I would definitely say it would be worth the money for the Peloton, even with the membership, if you're using it. Because like I said, if you have multiple members in your house, it starts to make more and more sense. Now, if you get the bike, you only start and you know you kind of slack off and you're only using it yourself once a week or once every other week, you might have to take a look at that subscription fee and say, maybe I should just do my free rides you know, whenever I can fit it in uh, because $40 a month definitely adds up. But I would say that's the number one question that people are gonna have. So for me, I would say it's worth the money. Lastly, as far as do I recommend the bike, this is gonna be anticlimactic because if you've picked up on the tone of this video, I'm a very big fan of the Peloton. I really hate saying that. I didn't want to like it, but of course, I recommend it to anyone and everyone, whether you're 18 years old or 65 years old. That's one of the things I love about my early morning rides. I ride from with people from the UK. I ride with nurses. I ride with doctors. It's really cool. So you get to kind of see who's all using this bike. At the end of the day, we're all just trying to be better in one way or another. So I haven't met many people that have tried the Peloton that haven't liked it or have wished that they never bought it. I definitely know people that just don't make the time for it. That's a different conversation. So for me, Peloton gets a very high rating. I would give it a 9.5. Four, two out of 10. I'd give it a 10 if it was a little bit cheaper. I think, you know, the prices will start to come down. You'll be able to find them used as people start to upgrade to the newest bike. Uh, as I mentioned, I don't think you really need that, but this thing has really changed the way that I view cardio. And that's really the whole goal of working out, right? It's finding something you can adhere to that you find enjoyable. And I know a lot of people like Megan, who's someone that doesn't like all forms of exercise, has found a lot of enjoyment with the Peloton. So that's, you know, that's gonna be key to, uh, can you actually adhere to it? So that's gonna be my synopsis of this Peloton. If you have any other questions, one, sorry, one more thing I do wanna recommend. I wasn't going to get the cycling shoes. I thought that was just a little bit much and I was just gonna use the toe straps. Long story short, I couldn't figure out how to get the pedals off, so I did get the cycling shoes. Highly recommend going that route. I just got these off Amazon for I don't know, like 60 bucks or something. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money there, but that is it for this Peloton review. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments down below anything I can do to help y'all out along the way. But thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I mean, you could have been doing anything anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. Please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new and do not forget to turn on those post notifications and I look forward to talking to y'all next time.